Hey everybody, some gadget guy here, and I don't normally do a lot of app and software reviews, but I actually really enjoyed this most recent update, so I just wanted to show some of the new uh, layout and features on the Google Plus app for Android. Now, I've got the older Google Plus app loaded here, and I'm sure if you've been using the Google's Plus, you're familiar with this layout. Uh, we've got the photos, location, mood. <laughs> I've never understood why I would want to put my mood into a social network like that. The ability to write posts. Gray bar at the top with the little slide over menu. If I tap right there, you can get into a whole bunch of things like you know the locations, hangouts. This is also where we can do things like go to your profile directly or change a profile to something else. Especially handy for folks like me who started their Google Plus account on one email address and then started a YouTube account on a different email address and are now regretting that decision. But moving into the new Google Plus app, we can see a much bolder and simpler layout. So we've got this really bold primary red top bar, and we've got a new sort of a floating button which gets us to all of our posts if we want to post items or uh, share content that slides out of the way. And both of these are very, very responsive. So as we slide back and forth through the screen, you can see how easily they move out of the way so that uh, you can just look at content when you just want to look at content. So as you're scrolling down through Google+, all of those various controls stay hidden. The second you scroll back up, we get all of our controls back again. And it is a very simplified layout. So now if we tap on this, we get the ability to go right into a post and we can share instantly from the Photos app if we want to share photos there. And uh, we can also do things like add our location. Uh, we can go, we can of course share our mood if we want to share our mood. And one of the nice things about this new app layout is we have a link sharing feature within the posting interface. Uh, which automatically will paste in links that you have copied to Clipboard. So I recently just copied a link from somegadgetguy.com, and when I hit the little link, it's already populating in this field here. So I didn't have to go back in and paste it, it's just ready to go right there, and if I hit OK, it's going to take a sec. It pulls up the post title and a post image. This was a problem with the older style layout where you didn't really have the same sort of post sharing capabilities where you would sometimes try and share something and sometimes it would give you the, the thumbnail and the proper layout and sometimes it would just share a link. So you would just have a text link that people would have to click on with no other information and with no post image to, uh, to draw their eye. Now in this new top bar, if you click on your face, you go right into your profile. You see your posts, about, your photos, you can see how many followers you've got. You can also see how many views you've had. And then the same thing happens here. These transition and fade effects are pretty sweet. My profile pick and banner pick are going to slide out of the way as well. It's a nice fade transition into that top red bar. And I think it's just a really cool, smooth sliding action there. And it performs really, really well. I'm very impressed with this design because it's, it's simple, but it's also bold and it's new and it's fresh. All of those art style descriptions <laughs> so that we can talk about what this new app looks like. Also in this top bar is where we can switch back and forth between our, di our different accounts. So this is also now a, a slightly faster way for me to toggle back and forth between my YouTube account and my personal Google Plus account, which is very helpful. Anything that simplifies this process, even by just eliminating the one step of pulling up a side menu, is going to be uh, appreciated. And at the top here, we also have our recommendations for people to circle and our notifications. If we wanna see recent notifications, this is where we go there. Also where we can get rid of our notifications just as before. And then uh, down here, we also have a secondary menu or control bar where we can filter. So if I wanna see everything, I can just see from my circles or my communities. It's, uh, it's again, it's a bit more streamlined so we don't have all of those individual hoops that we used to have on the older app. So those are all of my individual communities and uh, circles. So this you know, doesn't really help streamline the, uh, the experience as much as I think Google thought circles would. And tapping on my circles will get me to these individual circles that I, I might want to check out. Also ditto to the communities, all the various communities that I'm following. Uh, same thing there. But the initial layout is super clean. And I honestly, I tend to stay on everything anyway. I, I, I'm starting to get the sense that Google Plus is doing that Facebook filtering where everything isn't really everything. But, uh, but I like to see, if I've circled someone or if I've subscribed to a community, it's because I want to see what they post. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, I, I, I really wish that an everything were a proper, true, not filtered everything. But this is sort of the way of the current social media futures 
they're going to try and feed us what they think we want. And then getting into the settings, we have sort of a general global auto backup uh, for photos and videos. And then we have account settings, so we can customize things like location sharing or contacts profile, uh, what apps sign in with Google Plus, and our notifications per the different accounts that we've got. So the account for my YouTube channel, I can set up notifications and I can set up various contacts and location sharing. Maybe I wanna share my location with people from my tech blogging, but maybe I wanna be a bit more private with my personal account. And uh, that's actually pretty helpful. And it's, it's a cool way to sort of separate that information, even though you do have to dig one menu setting deeper into each account to customize that experience right there. And in all, the app is just proving to be a lot more responsive than the older Google Plus app was. I used to have a problem uh, where on this main feed, say I wanted to plus this post from Anna Lee Cruz, on the older apps, if I t touched imprecisely anywhere near the plus or the sharing buttons, it would open the post and then I would have to touch again to plus or to share. And here, even with the stylus, it's, it's a lot more forgiving. <laughs> of touches which aren't exactly precisely on that plus button. So folks, this is the new Google Plus app date for Android phones. I'm really enjoying this new layout, this new design, this new aesthetic. And on top of that, it's also proving to be snappier and a better performer than previous versions of the Google Plus app. So if you are using the Google's Plus, uh, definitely go hit that update, check it out, and drop me some comments. Let me know what you think. And if you're using the Google's Plus, also consider giving me a, giving me a circle on YouTube, I am JC Bagnell. On Google+, I am Juan Carlos Bagnell. And uh, as always, folks, thanks so much for watching my videos, sharing my videos, subscribing to my channel, uh, dropping me comments down below, and hitting that thumbs up button. It's always greatly appreciated. And I will catch you all on the next review.